name is Council Member Christopher Marte, and I represent Council District Number One. <laughs> Leading up to today, we saw members getting off the bill. I had conversations with people saying, Chris, aren't you scared of what this is going to happen to you in your future? Chris, are you concerned that this is a dead bill and you're not going to go anywhere? And as I thought about those conversations, I thought about the women that are in front of me today. Many who put their lives on the line to speak out against their employers and their working condition. We know employers who have told these women that if you speak up, you will no longer get to work. And if you try to file for unemployment, we will sue you and we'll get the cops to arrest you. There are women in this crowd who came to testify in the city council last fall after their employer said, if you go, you won't be able to be a home attendant for any agency. You won't be able to support your kids, your husband, and you will die because you won't be able to get work. There's many women in this crowd who sued their employer knowing that this might be the last job that they had, knowing that tomorrow is uncertain, knowing that they might not have money to put food on the table or a roof above their head. But what they showed was courage. They, they showed courage not just for themselves, but for every other worker here in New York City. There are many women among us who can no longer close their hands because of their fingers are broken after picking up their patients. There are women among us today who still can't sleep because for years they couldn't sleep for four or five days straight. Today, there's women among us who can't speak to their husband or kids because their kids and husband don't recognize them any longer. We have women who wish they could be here today, but now are dead because of the working conditions that they have lived through for the past decade. And so, we are here today to tell the city council, to tell Speaker Adams to have some courage. Have an inch of the courage that these women have. <laughs> to say no to private insurers. To say no to nonprofit agencies. To say no to major labor unions. <laughs> and show some courage to fight for women, for vulnerable people, for people with disabilities all across our city. Today, we demand that Speaker Adams put intro 175 on the floor for a vote. For me, this is personal. My mom was a home attendant that did 24-hour shifts. She worked up in Parkchester in the Bronx. So every morning at 5 a.m., she will make me breakfast and leave. Sometimes I won't see her for 24 hours, sometimes for 48 hours, sometimes 72 hours. Not because she didn't want to come back home, because she had no other option, because her agency forced her into modern day slavery. And for decades, my mothers, and mothers throughout New York City share that brunt of work. And so for me, for these women, for these vulnerable populations,
for future generation of workers, for future generation of home attendants. We say no more. No more.